before um, I even um, got into the Millennium camp. So first question is that, uh, how do you uh, view Intel as a competitor? Because just a few days ago, <laughs> Computex, they announced, um, like, uh, they just told it, you know, we're going to go for ARM. We're going to compete with you. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, uh, that's, again, one of the surprising developments, is that ARM has now developed uh, to the scale where Intel sees it as its biggest market threat. Um, and, of course, the volume of ARM shipped is much higher than the volume of Intel processors. So ARM overtook Intel by volume uh, at least 10 years ago. But this year, they've actually overtaken Intel by value. So the, the shipped value of ARM processors is higher than the shipped value of, of Intel processors. Um, this, this makes uh, for fairly direct business confrontation on a number of fronts. And it's going to be interesting to see how this develops. And it's a very asymmetric battle, if you think about it. it uh, Arm is still you know, 1,700 people, about $500 million turnover. Um, Intel is 20, 30 billion turnover, I don't know the number, and, and orders of magnitude more people. But then Arm has its partnership. And if you pack, pack all the partners up on this side, suddenly it's much bigger than Intel. So w what is the nature of this war? It's not, it's not a, a battle between equals at all. If you had to start all over again and you were going to a university next year, what courses would you take? <laughs> Wonderful question. <laughs> Dave, I'll let you start. Yeah. Um, well, as I said earlier, my, my first degree was in, in mathematics, and I, I, I see mathematics as a kind of universal tool across the whole of science, engineering, and technology. So, so if you like maths and, you, and you're reasonably good at it, then I, I don't think you can go far wrong with that. Um, I suspect the same is true of physics. As, um, if you know you want to do the computing area, then of course the, uh, I can't work in the computing department without recommending computer science. Um, but I've never been, um, uh, I've never regretted studying maths myself. So, so I, I have to give the same answer. So that the best thing is to do something numerate. Um, so uh, mathematics, um, physics, um, chemistry, they, they all score well. And there's a real advantage. I mean, you, can, you can then do almost any science you like, but if you decide actually you want to be very rich instead, <laughs> then you can become an investment banker. <laughs> I, I was on a, um, a panel uh, reviewing physics, you know, how physics uh, gets or doesn't get students in in the first place, and then what careers they go and follow that was carried out a couple of years ago for the UK government. And we, we interviewed a load of employers. And the ones that were really interesting were the investment banks. So we, we had two, one from uh, Lloyd's and one from Citigroup, who, um, uh, whose job it was to hire uh, numerate people to do all these models that sometimes make the money and sometimes cost us a lot of money. <laughs> and what it turns out is that they, they could consume the entire output of British PhDs in physics. What they said is that they like, they like people who, who, can, who, who are good at mathematics, but actually they don't really want mathematicians, because uh, mathematicians don't really work in the real world. Uh, what they want is physicists and chemists. <laughs> so I, I don't want to sound as though I think that's what you should do, but, but, the, but the great thing about sticking with numerate science is that actually it opens the whole world up. I mean, it, it's an incredible toolkit for doing your own science in almost any field but actually the commercial world values it as well. Let's give the final word to Michael. Oh, I, I, I took one semester of math, but I thought at that time it's all set theory, and you know, I thought it was fairly dry. So <laughs> <laughs> people are arguing for forever of these. Uh, and so I thought I need something more related to what so answer me, and that I can explain mm. the things that happen in life. And, and so, uh, of course, math is uh, desperately needed for that as a tool. And, and so, uh, I, for, for a while, I was kind of hesitating between physics. I signed up for physics in one university, for chemistry in another. But finally, I'm a physical chemist, so I just <laughs> would recommend <laughs> physical chemistry. <laughs> you have to be loyal. <laughs>